Hey everyone. Hey, we want you to enjoy the video today, but also uh, we're gonna just have some trail ride to go on towards the beginning. But hang on, we have a devotional towards the end and we would really love for you to be a part of it. We're gonna talk about fear and uh, some of the things it can do to us. And uh, if you could, if my heart rate monitor, were, if I had one of those on, you would see my heart rate kind of go up a few times on some of the stuff we did today. For some people, it's not a big deal, but for me, it's kind of new. So uh, we just want you to hang around, enjoy the ride. And then also at the, towards the end, you, you know, enjoy the devotional today on fear. So thanks a lot. And we have Robert and he's eating. So got to eat too. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share. We appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Everybody, let's hit the trails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
learn something yeah we we just you know learn something new we figured something out that's going to help us in the next time and really in our walk with God we have to be able to do that you know God has God doesn't remember the past sometimes we just have to move beyond the you know okay it didn't work try it what are you going to do different try something different mm -hmm. do it you know change how, you know what you're wanting to do. We ought to stay low. <laughs> but that's the whole thing, you know. It's like there's a reason I don't do extreme things. It's because <laughs> fear. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And you know, some of those uphills and some of those, to be honest with you, if there was a turnaround, you know, I might have been tempted, but it's like, all right, I, I got, I got no out. I just got to do this. Yeah. And I think we need to get that, you know, in our walk with God. Oh, I 100% agree with that. Because when you submit and surrender... Me, for me personally, there's 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 no out. Right. You know, it's it's. Uh, I think Peter said it best. You know, where would we go? You have the words for eternal life. Where yeah. would we go? Exactly. So I mean, I'm. I have to be. 
just my personality type is I'm committed no matter what. Right. Is that good or bad? I'm not sure, but... I really think that God wants us all in. I mean, I think that's the only way we can... Another scripture. It can be hot or cold. If you're lukewarm, I spit you out in my mouth. In, in Revelation. So. In our walk with God, yeah, we're going to... We're going to experience fear. We're going to experience stress and anxiety. We're going to experience all kinds of feelings. But I think that if we have a plan B, we're going to take the easy road out. And and that's where we get into trouble and we miss out on what it is God wants us to do. You know, and we just have to be able to just trust God through it all. You know, and keep moving forward in all that God has no matter what we face, no matter what we go through. Yeah, absolutely, because you know, you've said this a million times. When we walk through the wilderness, there's a purpose. And, and fear is always in the wilderness. Oh, yeah. I mean, John the Baptist faced it. Jesus faced it. I mean, Jesus is more of a temptation. Right. But the wilderness is unknown. Yeah. You know, if it was... If it's some place that we spent all our life in... And we, you know... Oh, I'm used to this. I've This is what I've been all my life. You know, we begin to... It's a comfort zone. So when God takes us into our wilderness, He takes us into things that we aren't familiar with, that we don't know. And that's where you know, faith in Him is going to make all the difference in the world. And trusting that God is with us, that I can do all things through Him, that He will always do what's in my best interest. You know, and... Until we get to that place of trust and faith, fear will always try to rear its ugly head. Oh yeah. And I I would say that the perfect love of God drives out that fear. Oh yeah, that's what the scripture tells us. Perfect love casts out fear, and the only perfect love is God's love. Amen to that. So, but you know. We kind of had I had to take a phone call, so if there's a gap in the action. You know why? Um, yeah, believe it or not, I have cell phone service out here. <laughs> uh, but you know, here's the thing: fear's going to come. You're going to experience it somewhere, somehow. Fear is always comes with the unknown. And you know, here what we have to do in those moments is be like, okay, God. If you're leading me into this, you're going to give me everything I need to accomplish it. God isn't going to take you somewhere and leave you. His word is very clear. He will never leave you or forsake you. But you may be like the psalmist in that you're going to feel like you're walking through the valley of shadow of death. You're going to have those moments. Fear is a good emotion as long as you don't let it take control when you let it take control then we're in trouble so just want to encourage you today you know walk in the confidence that your savior loves you that his forgiveness is there make a mistake and his grace and mercy is new every day so no matter what it is you go through no matter what you know what you think the failure is what you think is failure may have been the exact thing God wanted you to do and to happen for a reason and a purpose so we just place it in God's hands God I did what I 
what I felt you wanted me to do. I did it to the best of my ability. Lord, you take it from here. And don't let fear of failure keep you from doing something. And don't allow your mistakes to cause you to be fearful of trying again. Just remember the Lord loves you. He's got a great plan for you. Turn to Him and He'll see you through because He didn't give you fear. So we just want to thank you for joining us on the trails today. God bless you. Have a great rest of your day. And, you know, we're thankful for all you new subscribers out there. We're thankful for everyone who's joining us. Share it. You know, if you think this can be bless somebody and encourage somebody, you know what? Share it with them. You know, share this word with them. And just keep walking with the Lord. God bless you. Have a great day.